<laughs> All right, Remy's choosing Dad's Halloween costume. Look at <gasps> Dad could be a giant baby. He already is. What? Name because I'm super awesome. Nope. <laughs> Chicken. Let's see. What could dad be? He could be a deer too, Ram. I could be a deer. Do you want dad to be a deer as well? No. Okay. <laughs> She's like in your dreams. Penny, are you okay? She's like, I don't think I like that. <laughs> Penny's like, this is not my jam. <laughs> Pen. So we are trying to walk this baby out. I'm supposed to be doing a curb walk. I don't know why that does things, but apparently it's supposed to do something. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. I know, don't push it. I can't push it back. You can't push it back. I know, that's what's scary. So, so well. That's like one of the things I love so much about our neighborhood. So we have these dry oaks everywhere. So many of them fell. We have been obviously out and about today. Getting like little tasks done. And then we took Remy to, actually we were taking her to Spirit Halloween. And I, talk, I was talking to my sister, Amanda, about this. But basically what happened is we went to Spirit Halloween. Remy was petrified. Petrified to go in. She was very scared of all the like, little jump scares and the animatronics and all that. I did not want to do it. Like we made it through the front door and she got very emotional and upset. So we turned around. We tried to tell her it was fake, but she wasn't having it. And that's totally fine. The reason why I bring that up is, sorry to my older sister about it. And she's like, it is really scary. If you think about it, like little kids come in there to pick out their Halloween costume. Like little, little, little itsy bitsy kids. Her age and younger. The first thing they do when you walk into Spirit Halloween is that they put these terrifying things that you have to walk through to get to those areas. As a child, like, I wouldn't want to go in there either. Especially if that's like the first thing that I have to walk through. It's weird Halloween that we went to. I went through with Remy to show her. I'm like, this isn't scary. And then we got in and they moved all of their animatronics like all over the uh, store at this particular location by us. You couldn't avoid them. Like they were everywhere. So we turned around left. We went to the dollar store. She got some stuff. We got some little like, I always like to buy things for trick-or-treaters that cannot eat candy. Maybe they have an allergy or whatever it might be. I like to have like a basket of stuff that they can choose from as well. Remy got her very own candy basket. But I am at this point now where I am, I am so tired. I've shown you this a million times, but like I'm getting to that point where like I feel like I get so drained so easily, but I'm trying to stay moving so that I go into labor. Because <laughs> I have to be induced at the end of the week. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that maybe she'll come naturally. I'm so exhausted because my due date is actually after my induction date. They're not gonna let me go to my due date for the mere fact of my age, which is so weird because it's so weird. I get it, I get it. I'd rather be safe, I'd rather the baby be safe, I'd rather me be safe, I'd rather all that. And I'm kind of hoping it's not like a, I wake up at three in the morning because I can't fall asleep and then my water breaks. Like I'm kind of hoping like, I'll wake up and I'll go like this. You know, it'll be like 7 a.m. So I'll have a good night's sleep and then my water will break. And then I can go into the hospital and then like an hour later or two later, then I'll have the baby. But I'm living in a dream world. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me, am I scared about having another baby? Or am I like scared about delivery? Am I scared about all that stuff? Or am I nervous? And yes, to answer those questions, I am nervous. Not as nervous as I think I was with Remy. Like I was very calm going in, but like the process of like giving birth, scared me tremendously. That I'm, I'm very nervous about again, just because it's just, it's just nerve wracking. Like it's a crazy experience. Like you can't even explain it. And it's just like, it's amazing what your body can do. And so many people are gonna say in the comments, like it, your body is meant for that. And I totally agree. Still doesn't take away the nerves and like 
the like uneasiness and like I don't know I, just, I still get nervous about it I'm just excited to meet her and I, that's what I try and keep like putting in my head it's like I'm very excited to meet her we're very excited are you guys excited to meet the baby hello yes yes Remy's baby, not our baby. Not our baby, that's Remy's right. Baby. Remy just thinks I'm holding the baby. Are you excited, Rem Rem? I got a baby! <laughs> so we're all very excited to meet the baby. I think the family is too, it's so funny. Everybody's been checking in like every single day, a couple times a day, and I, I love it. It's I feel very lucky to have such good family surrounding us and friends surrounding us to where everyone's always checking in. Now, to get to my point now, before I ramble on too long, what are you doing? No. What are you getting? I feel really, 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 really drained out. Um, especially because I'm not sleeping. This past two nights I have not slept. Three nights I have not slept at all. Like, really at all. Because she's moving like a crazy person in the middle of the night. Because she's moving like a crazy person at night. So, um, ooh. Moves all the time, what am I saying? Um, but by the time it gets around like four or five, like I'm like done with the day and it's 5.30 and I'm surprised I even lasted this long. Who knows, maybe the next time like we update you, it might be like, guess what? We're heading to the hospital. Who knows? That would be wild. Well, you better test all the gear. You should probably do it now. <laughs> It's not real, buddy. Some of these never work. I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this one is. You find anything cool, Rem? Look it. Who's this? Remy, who's this? Rem dog. Okay, I'll take it off. You know what that reminds me of? Remember when she was like one? I pretended like I was a bunny, and she just goes, and that's how I knew that she was definitely Allie yeah, like and coordinated. You can be a baby dwarf or sleepy or silly or whichever one that is. Or the skunk. <laughs> Alright, so Rem, what do you think? Okay. That won't fit her. She's going to be way too small no, for all this. Baby in the no, she's going to be way too small. You were okay because you were like six months old. Yeah, you were older. Your, your well, sister is going to be like five days. Then. I know, she's still wearing her bad thing. Bad things on her, the dolly. I did not do it. You did? Bad dog! Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. Look. Look at this baby face. She's, look, she's got a smirk. It's adorable. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because that was my last sonogram before this baby comes. <sighs> I might be having this baby like any time. Crazy. I realized there were some things that we didn't have because like I've been making this like Amazon B list kind of thing I think we got rid of this like I think we got rid of this because I thought I kept most of it But I did keep a lot. We had to get a new mirror. So I got a mirror today. It's really insane to think about like You're gonna be having a baby No matter what in the next couple of days. So cute. She's a cute little turd. Oh my god. I'm so excited to meet her. Oh. Remy, are you excited? Yeah, okay, so happy pools getting cleaned and she gets to go in and it is freezing. Get your butt in! And Char, we got our lights up. We got to tighten it a little bit, but it looks really nice. That other tree over in the corner we got rid of was because these vines look awesome. Look beautiful. They really do. They are deadly trees. They do, they, they strangle the tree. Finally got to see it. Yeah, so like if all of this. They give me a haircut. So if you look, all of these vines. So all see those. all these guys? It's just killing them. It, it will strangle the tree. Our other tree, we think it might have been holding it together. So yeah, I mean, because it created this crazy exoskeleton. <laughs> but we got to get all those down because we just don't need. Well, they also said if you cut, what did you say? Like a foot, foot or plant, two. So oh, yeah. Reconnect. So the they, they'll place. start dying off and they'll fall. The more we can get off, the better. We're just doing aimless stuff right now because I think we're both kind of nervous that I might go into labor today or tonight. <laughs> Who knows? It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, we got to keep away from Dr. Fox. Where's Fluffy? Where'd Fluffy go? Ah, oh, Dr. Fox has got our boogie board. Dr. Fox, drop it, Dr. Fox. We have all our animals all safe. But look at that. You can see the tree again. Dr. Fox. Dr. Fox, drop it. Thank you, Dr. Fox. I found a wrench, guys. Okay, let's do this. It can help our animals. 
Oh, we can help our animals. Don't worry, guys. We got you. That's a police dog. This is a very important, important job. We have to get rid of Dr. Fox. We already got rid of. We already got rid of Dr. Fluffy. So now we gotta get rid of Dr. Dr. Fox. No, Dr. No, her like, name's Fluffy. She helped. Oh, Fluffy was helped. We lost Fluffy then. Where would Fluffy go? We found our mosquito system. A froggy. Hello, Mr. Tree Frog. So no, you leave it alone. No, he's. Oh, she's seeing the reflection. I say you leave the tree frog alone. That's how we have no mosquitoes in our house over there. You go inside with the frog? He must be like this. Yeah, probably really good. One, two, three. <laughs> and it begins. So yesterday I told you guys I ordered the wrong cable for the adapter, or the wrong adapter for the camera, so that way it doesn't die and it continuously records. Got a big SD card as well. Came today, thankfully, just before little one um, is here. I thought for sure that she'd be here and I wouldn't have this and I would use the old one, which is fine, no big deal. It's here and I've been testing it. It has been recording one hour and 32 minutes. I have 18 hours left on this card. So long as Allie is not in labor for over 20 something hours, or yeah, 20 hours, we should be good. Countdown begins, guys. Allie, what do you think, tonight, tomorrow? Yeah, we're hoping like Remy. Yeah. Well, like with Remy, Allie woke up, told me because I was still sleeping. Out of she took a shower and still did that. So I'm hoping that she's like Remy, where she did it early in the morning, so everyone gets some sleep and all that fun stuff. So countdown begins. If she's not here, when do you think it's gonna happen? Either way, by Sunday, Allie's being induced. We already know that part, but do you think it's gonna happen between? This video and Sunday or just Sunday? I gotta say, it's the most stressful situation right now and frightening situation right now because you're on like tippy toes. I'm excited, Remy's excited, Ali's freaking out and excited and scared and stuff like that, which totally get because she's the one doing all the work, which is incredible. See you guys later.